What is up, YouTube? Nappy head million. You know what I'm back like. Like, share, subscribe if you like Outriders. We're going to be doing a couple of Outrider videos on the channel, seeing how everybody feels about it. Also, I'm on Twitch now. So, Twitch TV slash Nappy head Millie if you want to actually see me play the game and go ahead and grind out these characters like I'm grinding out this Technomancer. But before we even talk about grinding, let's talk about why y'all hear the iceberg. This weapon drops very early. I got it to drop at the Chrysopod boss battle, okay? And I didn't even notice it drop. This is the first legendary I have gotten in this game. I didn't even know it dropped. So I was only at world tier five when this dropped, okay? So we all know we can level it up. It costs resources, but we do know that the weapon can be leveled up. It can scale to max level with us. So we ain't gotta worry about that. But this baby right here, mixed with some of the things I'm gonna talk about later in the video, this thing, early mid game, it, it, it hits like a truck, especially for Technomancer. So we're gonna look at it. The firepower as of right now, item level 20. I probably could level up a little bit more, but it's, it's in that 1246. We got the crit damage sitting at 21.3. We got the status power sitting at 17%. And we got the long range damage sitting at 5.21. I haven't maxed these out as of yet. So I don't know what the exact max calcs are once I'm in max it. But looking at the accuracy, we got it at a max of 99. The stability is at a 44%. And the range is sitting at 200 meters five clips per round shoots pretty fast with a 75 rpm for a sniper rifle especially a bolt action damage is pretty good reload is pretty good and the crit multiplier is pretty good but that ain't what take the cake on this weapon okay we got the winter blast now critical shots create an icy blast that inflicts freeze on enemies within four meters so basically i get a headshot and if you're in four meters you're freezing okay that's cool Icebreaker killing shots against frozen enemies make them explode. Dealing 718 damage. Now, this I believe this does scale with anomaly damage. Somebody can, you know, in the comments, leave it in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe it does scale with that. Now, listening to all that, you guys are probably like, how does this hit hard? How's this a pretty good weapon? Well, Put it like this, I get a headshot, I can freeze everyone around me. If I can kill that person with a headshot, I get a nice little explosion that's around. Now, that's off that killing shot. What this doesn't tell you is, I can get instant headshots into an explosion into a freeze. So I can keep a chain reaction going. Uh, I'll probably put clips of me getting headshots and just freezing the person next to him and then shooting the person right next to him and getting chain reactions from freeze to freeze to freeze. This is a CC. It's a CC weapon, people. So if you want an early game CC weapon, go ahead and pick this up. Like I said, just grinding the Christ supply. Now, what would this synergize well with? Well, let me go to the class real quick. Let me show you my build that I'm working on. Working on a toxin build. And ironically, this works very well with the perk exposing toxin. Now, I know what you a lot of you are gonna say, there's exposing frost. No, you want exposing toxin. You don't want to double dip into a type of element or a type of debuff or a type of CC that you already have. Exposing toxin mixed with the skill I'm gonna talk about in a minute. But exposing toxin, every time someone is toxic, they get the vulnerable state. Now you always wanna get the mark for execution because it's 40% more effective okay i also got the sniper mastery just to get the extra damage but you pair all that with blighted rounds and i'm gonna put a clip right here one headshot is all you need one headshot is all you need to set off a chain reaction of killing everyone one headshot to slow and freeze the ball so they can't move and then two more for good measures because they're dead between the second or third shot every single time. And I put in a clip, me in World Tier 6, I believe. World Tier 6, out of my league. And I'm one shot in multiple mini bosses. Now, I do want to test this on a boss to see how much damage I can get off. But this, that, that sniper is a melter. 
it melts early game and late game once i max everything out once i get all my resources i can see it melting just as good especially seeing that i still haven't got my sniper added and increasing my long range weapon damage by 30 percent i haven't gotten these two perks once i get these two perks this turns into a straight killer and that's why i say this weapon messes best with the techno master now my other skills i use cryo turn and cold snap because this is an easy way to freeze if i want to get a chain reaction let's say we got a whole bunch of melees running at me i'll use cold snap to freeze them and i'll switch to the sniper just just to get the killing blow so i can set off a chain reaction and get that 718 damage just to wipe anybody that's around you know what i'm saying the cryo turn is a good it's a good solo perk it's a good solo ability as in it can call it can take aggro it can freeze it can slow down people it can honestly alert you to where someone is it has so much utility for it being a turn that i have to use it but overall i love this weapon um i'm really going to invest in this weapon when i do my little sniper build uh, i am working as you guys see i am working on a sniper build um going into pestilence so definitely you guys want to see more content you want to hear me talk more about why you should get legendary weapons as i get them because i'm testing them as soon as i get them like share subscribe and follow me at twitch tv slash nappyhead millet but why should you get it if you are a technomancer and you want to invest into sniping, if you want to be a great CC god and you can hit your headshots, this is the perfect weapon for you. But other than that, I ain't got nothing else to say. Streaming at 12.30 tomorrow, I'm out. Peace.